Hey, welcome to the old computer museum channel. And this is a Commodore 64 game called Impossible Mission. Impossible Mission is one of the games that I played probably the most when I was young. It's a cool game. It's a platform adventure type game. And this is the Counter 64 version that you see in emulation on uh, CCS 64 emulator on Windows 7. Release date um, 1984 for the Commodore 64. Uh, but versions were done for um, the Acorn, the BBC Micro, ZX Spectrum, Amstrad CPC, the um, Atari 7800, Sega Master. Um, there's a, a version, it's not written here, but there's a version for the Amiga also that I've seen. And so this is a platform adventure game and it's pretty interesting. Uh, one of the very, very nice games, it's made by Epix. Epix that made a lot of great, great titles back then. And um, basically, you are at the control of a... Um, just gonna swap. I think it uh, just needs to swap. Here we go. You are at the control of a. Stay a while. Stay forever. You're at the control of this little guy there. You have to go into rooms and uh, search for puzzle pieces, and you need to actually get all the puzzle pieces possible. Uh, one of the first game I've ever heard with a digital voice at the beginning that really made it made us flip out if you want. So basically you go into rooms and rooms of robots. You gotta be careful not to get caught. And basically, you see all these furnitures and stuff. You have to just go and uh, search for puzzle pieces. Now, as you see, some robots are more dumb, some robots are more intelligent. So you gotta be careful with that. And you see there was a puzzle piece there. So basically what you need to do is fine. As you see, some robots, when they spot you, they just go around. Basically, you really need to... You really need to find all the pieces in every room. Uh, so that's the uh, adventure type the adventure part of the game, I would say. The um, other thing that you gotta remember is how to control the different... As you've seen here, you got these elevator platforms and you gotta... you gotta just find the right way to put them in the room so that you can move around. I'm going to show you other rooms, because I'm not playing the whole game anyways. At the bottom, you have the map of all the areas that you've searched. Here, for example, is a big bubble, black bubble, so you got to be careful not to get stuck by this bubble. And as you see, it's following you. As long as it's uh, in another space, you're okay. You have these little computers at the bottom and sometimes what happens is you f um, will actually get passwords. So you see you can reset lifting platforms or temporarily disable robots. But you need to have these the passes necessary to do that in each room. So what happens is if you don't um, 
have all the passes you cannot disable robots so what happens is as um, with some sometimes you find um, puzzle parts sometimes for example here I just found a pass to reset platforms so uh, as you're playing through the game you just have to go through and um, on the really hard levels where the robots are extremely difficult uh, one of your best ways is really to basically disable robots as you see here some rooms have passageways on both sides with which means that it lets you into another area of uh, platforms with the elevator so you have another elevator and other platforms some rooms like here are extremely difficult you gotta be careful not to fall the down or else you will hear this which is always a little surprising the first time you play the game the idea behind um, Mission Impossible is really cool it's really cool um, the fact that you have this action type game that you're uh, going through and at the end you have the full puzzle that you have to actually make out some robots with lasers others don't uh, it's really really nice so you're a secret agent who must stop an evil genius professor uh, that's basically the plot You've got 36 puzzle pieces and you've got a time limit to actually complete the game which is uh, a full 6 hour of game time if you want to complete it. Um, I've never never actually completed this game so um, but I've played a lot of it and came close a few times but basically always died at the end so every time you fall down a hole what happens is um, you basically get 10 minutes off the clock and at a certain point in the game you will basically just not have enough time so here I can uh, reset lifting and let's temporarily dig uh, I don't have the password for disabling the robots here as you see it can be really difficult to actually play a full so here's the timing is important as you can see and uh, so 36 puzzle pieces to find, you've got a limit amount of time and every time you die you subtract 10 minutes to the clock. The gameplay is cool, it's fun, it's entertaining and um, a very original game. Um, I give Mission Impossible for the Commodore 64 a score of uh, 8.5 out of 10. It's really worth it, it's core. Uh, fun to play and um, full of surprises it's a really 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 cool game
If you like these old games, old consoles, um, emulation stuff, click the subscribe button at the top of the screen. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments or questions on what you've seen, let us know and we'll try to uh, also put online any videos that you might request. If you've played Mission Impossible, tell us what you think. Did you enjoy the game? Was it cool? What didn't you like? And uh, if you die at the end, there's this ha 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 because the uh, mad or evil doctor actually. Here you can see all the puzzle pieces you've, uh, you have and try to make the puzzle and go through the puzzle parts. You also have um, different options with um, secret codes. If you enjoy these games, uh, emulation stuff, hey, take a look at our other videos. We have uh, emulation like this Counter 64, but we have real machines like the Amiga and the Atari ST. And. Um, just take care and uh, hope you come back to the official Old Computer Museum channel and um, watch more and more of our videos. So thanks for watching and hope you come back to the Old Computer Museum channel. Bye-bye.